What's happening, guys? Okay, so we've come from... Oh, yeah, here's Wayne. Say hello, Wayne. Hello, Wayne. Hello, Wayne. Cool, yeah. And uh, I've got Stefan as well and Ed the Bait Guy. They're not here with me. They've gone to the shop. Um, I'm eating a cod and chips. Hopefully, it's not the only cod I get today. Today, we're at Breen Sands. Never been here before. I've seen a lot of videos about this on YouTube. A lot of information about it. Um, but we are here today fishing. Low tide is at 3 o'clock, which is pretty much in an hour. Um, and we're going to fish it up. This is a very flat, sandy beach. The fish we're looking to get tonight are cod, hopefully. Mm -hmm. A good chance of thornback rays, blonde rays, soles. Yeah. I haven't heard about bass, but that would be nice. You probably there, find they will be there. Right? There's a lot of varieties of fish yeah. today. So that is what we're doing today. We're fishing at Breen Sands in Somerset, the Bristol Channel. We've got to go to get set up. This tide comes in quick. So we're traveling light today. Well, um, you are. Well, I'm traveling light. Yeah, yeah. well, your stuff's in my box. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you take, take, yeah. Um, right, yeah, so um, next time you're going to see us, that's his phone. Next time you see us, we're going to be on the beach, set up, and um, the conditions are going to be hard to film. So we're going to see how it goes. See you in a bit. So we met Reese and his brother T at where did we go? Green, Green Sands. Sands. Yeah. Um, the tide was well out. Um, the amount of fish it, we thought we could fish the tide up for six hours. You can't do it there. What, what are you doing, Wayne? Okay. <laughs> okay. We're on our way now to Porter's Head. Okay. Um, Reese is probably behind me and he's going to bump past us any second. But we're going to. We're gonna go fish over in Porter's Head now and see what we can do. If not, we'll drive back to Green Sands, um, start fishing at six o'clock and um, fish it down for, uh, no, six hours. Yeah. Fish three hours up, three hours down. Yeah. Uh, but we're gonna try this out now because uh, we didn't want to really want to wait until six o'clock. So, um, yeah, change of plan. On to, time to wait. On to Porter's Head. Indeed. Right, welcome back guys. Um, we changed destination again. As you can see, there's the Seven Bridge. Uh, this is our third mark. As you can see in the background, you've got Reese over there and his brother T. Sorry about the wind just by the way. Um, we've got Wayne there. We're gonna have to make a move in a minute, Wayne, because this is the second, what's this, the second most, the second fastest tidal flow in the world. In the world. Uh, hang on mate, hang on, yeah. Right, line has gone slack. I'll speak to you in a second. Right, that was fun. So, like I said, it's the second most fastest tidal flow in the world. Bristol Channel, and we're in the middle of it. That is coming up quick, really quick. We're currently only fishing one rod each, because it's proper, you're, you're standing around for about two or three minutes. There's our stuff. Over there, there's a nice little pier. At high tide, we're going to be fishing that pier. All of us can get on there. Obviously, fish on the UK is over there with his brother. We've got Stefan there in the red. Ed from Ed's Bates in the orange. Mr. Wayne Bowden over there filming on his camera, the blind angler. This water, even though it seems completely harmless, look at that. Chocolate. Chocolate weather. Chocolate water. 
This is coming in quick, or I'm just gonna stand like right on the edge and talk to you for a minute. Just to show you how fast this comes up. That was a cracking bite, whatever that was from over there. Cracking bite. I should really keep an eye on my rod. But yeah, I ain't moved and I'm covered already. What was that? 30 seconds? Non stop. They've had a cracking bite. I'm going to keep an eye on my rod because you need to be about, keep your wits about you. Definitely keep your wits about you when you're here. Very, very dangerous, but we are here today, obviously, for a cod. We've got a mixture of baits with us. We've got some lug that was dug by a good old head over there. We've got squid, we've got some um, mackerel. Reese went to Chesil earlier. He got some really nice joey mackerels. Got about 10 of them. I'm gonna see if he'll let me have one of them. We'll see. Um, nothing at the moment. We've only just got here. A very different situation. We have been with us over, we were here. We were here about, well, about a month ago, I think it was. Maybe three weeks ago. We were at the other side of that bridge. So that's where we were fishing. A 20 pound cod was caught off here not too long ago. When I say not too long ago, I mean last night. So we are hoping for a cod tonight. We got 12 rods. Well, at the moment we got one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're only fishing with one rod at the moment because we're being a little bit cautious of the conditions we're fishing in. But we're gonna have 12 rods out very, very soon. I've got a pulley panel rig on at the moment. Uh, that's got squid and lug on it. Ed, what, have you, what rig are you using? Running ledger. What bait? Four lug on it. What rigs you got on, boys? I'm filming you. What rigs you got on? Uh, I've got a two up flapper, size one oh, put up beat on the top, and six oh rick which I'm hoping is going to help. What bait you got? And what are you looking to get? Because it's so quick, I don't want to mess around with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Just luck. So I'm the only one using squid as at the moment. See how it goes. Uh, no, I've been concentrating filming you boys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna crack on. See you in a bit, guys. Good luck. Have we got a wager on for today? I'm still filming. Yeah. Biggest fish between all four of us. I'll see if them two want in as well. Biggest fish. I don't know. Should we do some money? Not a forfeit. Surely not. I want to see how quick this comes in. I'm just going to hold this here. <sighs> huh? No, no, I'm okay, mate. It was just—it was amazing how quick that, that water just went from there to there in a space of like two seconds. And now it's not really doing it on camera, but it's just uh, crazy, man. That has been there uh, probably about. Yeah, it's hard to explain, but jeez, man. Let's get this back up there. It's getting dark now. All the boys are heading up. It's still live now, there, actually. All right. Um, we picked up base. Huh? We picked up base on the pier here. We've got Reese. I don't know if you can see over there. Reese and Tia over there. They're on a wall. That tide was coming in way too quick. It's still not in yet. That was hard work. I'd do it again, but um, I'd definitely travel a little bit lighter. You can't actually see anything out there, can you? Actually, if I just shine my torch down there, there you go. You got a little bit of rocks down there. You got the water, probably about 50 yards out, coming in now. So I did walk down there and I put that bad boy out. There's a pulley panel rig on there, squid and lug wrap. Nice juicy wrap, and I'm here. I haven't got it out yet. I've got a two-hook flapper. You haven't even got any baits on yet. One up, one down. There's one. And there's two, two I hooked. And I'm gonna go lug on those. So I'm gonna smash them out at the moment. See Wayne there is about to go out. He's next to me, he's got, looks like he's got, what has he got on there? Squid, he's got a whole squid on that bad boy. And he's got also a two hook on the other one. The boys are waiting to go out, I'm the only one out. I know Reese has gone out, because uh, Reese and Tia have been going down the rocks. 
out on the rocks and they cast out that way and bring it back in. But hopefully we won't be able to do that. We won't need to do that soon. I don't even know the name of that bridge. Yeah. I know that one there is the River Seven. So yeah, that is what's going on now. So far, no fish. But again, high tide is at around about 10 o'clock. The time now, it's quarter past seven. So we've got a good two and a half hours of fishing coming up very, very soon, maybe an hour down, so. There was a cod caught on the corner, right, just down, the, just down there. There's a corner down there. You see where the lights are. Keep on going on about 100 yards. Nice few cod caught off there earlier today. So, obviously the plan today is cod. And uh, we'll see how it fishes. And we will see you hopefully in a minute with a fish. Either from myself, Wayne, Stefan Ored, all the boys down there. It's not a nice little spot here. Nice little air torch there. Ed's baits might be going live later. Let's get a fish, shall we? Fingers crossed. Strap conga. Then, do you it is? We weren't fishing for these. How heavy is it? <laughs> this could matter. <laughs> it could matter, actually, yeah. Strap conga. So excited because it's the only fish we've had so far, hopefully. Yeah. It's the start of many things to come. There we go. Another little strap conga oh, for Stefan. Oh. What a mate. Okay guys, so currently it's quite it's it's quite quiet tonight. As you can see there. We are at New Passage. New Passage. Ed. Uh, who's caught at the moment? It's just the moment Stefan's got two two straps. At the moment, Ed did lose a bass. Wayne has had zilch. I have had zilch. Two boys over there are not doing very well either. It's very, very quiet on the right side. It's okay on the left. <laughs> we are not doing very well. It's a bit quiet, but we're going to keep on going. Still got about two hours of fishing to go. Currently on that one right there. Where are we? Right there. I've got a pulley panel on with double sand eel and lugworm wrap. On a pulley panel and on the other one I have two hook flapper both with blacks and squid on so hopefully one of them's gonna go hopefully I'm gonna see you, you in a minute with a fish and hopefully it's better than a strap conga because we get enough strap congas down in Cornwall wanted a bit of a change up here anyway hopefully we'll see you in a bit all right, just an update. Reese down there has got a codlin. You can see her there. His brother T's got a codlin. Well done, Reese. Two straps, zero for Ed, zero for Wayne, and zero for myself. However, he has just given us some yellow tails, so we've got some out on that rod there. Wayne's going to get some yellow tails out. We need a cod. Come here for a cod. Looks like yellow tails are working. Fingers crossed. <laughs> okay, right. So that's it, guys. How did we do, Wayne? Um, take me, G. Stefan. Two congas. Ed, did you get anything tonight? Nothing. Nothing tonight. Got lots of bait. Uh, fish on. Reese got. One cod, one white, and, and T got a codlin as well. Apart from that, we're going to come back here. It's late now. So the tide's running out really, really fast. So we're going to go home. Thanks for watching this one, guys. And I will see you on the next one. If you haven't yet, like and subscribe. It doesn't cost, cost nothing. Um, well, there's a lot more trips to come. And uh, thank you all for watching. I'll see you soon. Take it easy. Say bye, Wayne. Bye, Wayne.
que foi.